Hello! I hate filming intros so much. I feel like it's the most awkward and cringy part ever of the whole of YouTube, ever, is filming intros because I feel like when we've, we've started the video, we can go on and we can chat and it can be more, less formal, more real, but I feel like starting a video is really hard because see when you walk up to your friend in the street or something, you don't start by being like, hello, welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Welcome to being my friend. It's just more natural. So that's the intro to this video is awkward. Anyway, I'm pretty sure most years on YouTube I film a New Year's resolution video where I talk about things that I would quite like to do in the new year. These are very casual things that if I don't achieve, I'm cool with it. Um, I never put the kind of pressure on myself of having to complete goals and if I don't complete those goals, I'm a failure. There's a little bit of that, which I'm trying to work on, but for the most part these are kind of loose things I'd like to do in the new year, things that would be good if I did, um, and they're always very small, they're never crazy, um, but I thought this year I would also start by talking about my 2018 achievements because I've gone through this year and it's been pretty tough, it's not been the easiest year I've had. Um, and I think I was kind of starting to think that I hadn't really done anything this year that was momentous. I don't have a career. I'm still kind of at a similar place with my mental health. I don't feel like uh, I'm still not able to go into town. I'm still not able to get on buses. I still have agoraphobia and these boundaries. And that's very frustrating for me. And I feel like uh, I've not really done much. And if you're in that similar position, I want you to really think back over the last year and think about the things you've achieved. These are some of the things I've achieved that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, I moved out on my own. I live in a flat by myself. Um, that's insane. I also went on a first date with somebody, which then led into a new relationship. The scariest part of this being the first date. God, that was very nerve-wracking. It feels like such a long time ago, but I did it. That was something that I did that was so nerve-wracking that I did. I'm really proud of myself for that and it doesn't feel like it was me because it was so long ago and because it just doesn't feel like me, but that was me and I did that. I also this year did an article with BBC which was a massive kind of recognition goal kind of thing of um, because I share my story on YouTube and on Instagram, because I share my mental health stuff, um, the BBC wanted to do an article on me and that sounds it's really difficult to kind of talk about these things because it obviously sounds very narcissistic and very, I don't know, bit, a bit funny to talk about. But I was really proud of myself for that and reading that article and the illustrations that came with that article um, were really, really good and that just is a big thing. And I was really excited when that happened and that also doesn't feel like this year because it was such a long time ago. Um, but yeah, that happened. There's also been lots of smaller goals. I've gone to the cinema this year. I've gone uptown this year. I've done so many things and things that might be quite insignificant to other people. I've cooked. I've done lots of things. Things that I think, I think the problem is when you do something uh, and you're really proud of it or it's really fun and it's really good, you kind of immediately forget about it once it's finished. So I just wanted to have a moment here where I recognised the goals that I achieved last year, this year everything that happened, the smaller goals, going up town, whatever that is. What things did you do this year? Whether they're tiny little things or they're massive things, what things did you do this year that you didn't expect to be able to do or that you were proud of yourself for at the time? Um, it might have been meeting up with family that you didn't necessarily like. It might have been surviving Christmas. That was something that's definitely on my list. I did Christmas and although it wasn't easy and it was kind of panicky, I did it. It's over now. I didn't die, nothing bad happened, I'm not in hospital, I'm here, I'm okay. Moving on to my New Year's resolutions. My first one is to focus on YouTube. I think I'm now at the point in YouTube where it is kind of, I either give it everything and really try and upload more videos and put a lot of work into it, or I keep doing what I've been doing, which is mainly putting up one video a week, if that, when I moved into my flat, things on YouTube kind of drifted away because I was so trying to make this work and it was kind of my only focus at that point was focusing on this and I think that I needed to do that at the time and I don't regret that, but 
it definitely made YouTube fall back a little bit and I want this to be something special. I want, I've grown an audience and you guys, it sounds so cliche but honestly, the people I've met through Instagram and YouTube and the people I talk to are so, I was just talking to my friend about it, it's just so special. It is a really special thing that I've got and I think I do take that for granted sometimes. Um, but I really, really enjoy filming YouTube videos, I really enjoy editing them, I really enjoy having conversations and I want to make it a thing this year, I want to really try and really focus on it um, and I think a lot of the time, because I only work uh, at my pub job two times a week, I often get quite bored and that's when I start to get anxious and think, oh I don't do anything with my life but I've got something perfectly great to focus on and so I want to focus more on YouTube. My next one is to go to cafes by myself more. Um, this is something that I did for the very first time. Only, I think it was in December, and I really enjoyed it. I sat there and I wrote lots of stuff about um, videos I want to film and did research about things and I just really enjoyed it. I love coffee, I love sitting there by myself. I've always had this thing where I get really nervous about people seeing me on my own and thinking I don't have any friends. When in actual fact, I don't really care <laughs> and also whenever I see somebody in a cafe by themselves doing work I think that looks so fun, it looks really inspiring and it looks like a lot of fun to do and I'd like to do that and so I did it and I really enjoyed it and so I'm going to do it more. That's that resolution done. My third one I have, I'm pretty sure I had last year as well was to write more. I want to write more, I want to write about anxiety, I want to really write. I don't know whether I want to go into fiction or non-fiction, I just want to write. I really want to start doing that this year um, and that kind of ties in with the go to cafes on my own. I want to sit there and I want to write and it doesn't matter what I write, I just want to write more and that's definitely a resolution that I want to stick to. My next one is to read 12 books. This year I didn't read very many books. The year before I read a lot of books. I'm capable of reading, I can read, I'm capable of reading lots of books and I want to do that. Again, can tie in with my cafe resolution. I'd like to be able to sit there and drink coffee and read a book. I want to do that. Another one is I want to watch TV less. Because Monday to Friday I don't have a job, I'm unemployed Monday to Friday, I tend to go into the habit of waking up, turning the TV on and then maybe not turning it off again. It's a bad habit. It's also something that sometimes I need to do to relax and to enjoy my space and sometimes I'm going to let myself do that but I want to try and not let TV kind of consume most of my days, which I've been doing recently. Um, and I think the reason I get more anxious during the day is because I'm not really doing much. So this also ties in with focusing on YouTube more. I want to watch TV less during the day. I still want to watch TV, it's something that I like doing. It's something that uh, I enjoy doing with my boyfriend, whatever. But during the day, I want to cut back on it um, and just have some silence sometimes as well, which is also okay. My last resolution is kind of a mental health related one, and that is to take every day a day at a time. I am so bad for this of, for example, right now, I'm going out later on with my friends, and then I'm working Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday is Hogmanay, and I'm working that night. I'm starting to get really anxious about working three days in a row, even though, one, I know it's probably fine, two, I work Saturday, Sunday, pretty much every weekend for the past three or four or however many years I've worked there. It's just one extra day and I'm not working till later so I've got plenty of time to relax before then. My parents are going to be there so it's going to be very chilled out. I'm just starting to freak out because I've got scheduled things. What I need to do and what I'm going to really try and do is focus about one day at a time. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up and think about my hour, six hour shift that I've got to get through and I'm going to get through that. And then on Sunday I'm going to wake up and I'm going to do the exact same. I want to try and focus on that individual day and what I want to do that day, what I feel able to do that day, um, and try and get there. So that is all the resolutions I have this year. Um, again, if these don't happen, that's okay. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. But these are just kind of things that I would like to do. You know the things throughout the year that you're like, oh I wish I could do that or you want to be that person that's sitting in a cafe reading a book, or you want to be able to do whatever it is you want to be able to do, this is your time to do it. Also, you might have noticed, I've not got any really triggering anxiety things for me. I've not got going to town twice a week. I've not got going to town at all. I've not got to get on a bus. 
they are different goals that I want to try and do, but they're not New Year's resolutions. These are no anxiety resolutions. These are things that I'm able to do. They're in my comfort zone. I just want to be able to do them and focus on them more. These aren't scary things to me at all. These are just things that I would like to do that I've been putting off. Um, whatever way you want to do your New Year's resolutions or if you don't want to do them, you just thought you'd click on this video to have a look at what I'm going to be up to. Um, you do you, basically. This year is about you focusing on yourself. I would really, really love for you to write down below in the comments what kind of things you want to get up to this year. Whether that is self-caring more, whether that's watching more TV, less TV, whether that's eating healthier or not eating healthier. doesn't matter what it is, it's your goals. You get to decide what you want to do this year. And let's try our very, very best to have a really good year. I'm really, I'm feeling able to this year. I'm feeling like it's going to be a good year. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm starting to lose my voice and I will see you soon.